Hey educators, Minecraft is already being used in classrooms across the country to teach children programming, foster creativity, and even to enhance learning of DNA extraction. For educators, this platform is fun and engaging to children of all ages. So being able to monopolize on a game children are already playing at home on various systems such as the computer and on tablets, they will soon be learning in the classroom, while to them, they're simply playing. Founded by Marcus Pearson in 2011, the Minecraft that we see today was created out of a world called Cave Game, in which the objective centered around the player building and destroying blocks, and then a multiplayer mode, a 16-bit computer, more diverse blocks, and a year later, in 2011, the Minecraft that we know and love today. In survival mode, the objective is just that, to survive the night by using resources in your environment that you can use by themselves or combine to make even greater tools to help you build a shelter and defeat the creepers and others at night. In creative mode, the creepers are gone and students can just build and explore to their heart's content. And this is where you, the teacher, and your superpowers come into play. With a lot of other computer technologies, you're limited to its one singular purpose. For example, Reader Rabbit, a game familiar to many that teaches reading and spelling skills for grade school children. But what if you wanted to teach math on that platform? You wouldn't be able to, and you would need to purchase another. But the great thing about Minecraft is that you are the creator. On the same platform, you can manipulate the Minecraft environment that is already being played by your students to teach whatever you want. Minecraft EDU is a version of Minecraft that contains add-ons to the original game that make it more suitable for the classroom. There are also suggested lesson plans, a server to use for your classroom, and even better, over 3,000 teachers in over 40 countries already on board. That means there is a community for you to explore Minecraft together. There are even worlds already created by other educators that you can just tap into. Especially when just learning how to computer program, Minecraft provides instant feedback. So you write a plugin, a modifier to your existing program, and you get feedback that it hasn't worked. But you, a beginner like me, hey, may not be able to fully grasp the issue. But you can load the program and you can virtually see where the issue is. Oh, okay, I created a plugin for a four walled building with a door, but the door is not present. I know then to go back to the code and where to begin making corrections. However, the learning doesn't have to end in the classroom. Clifford Anderson, director of scholarly communication at Vanderbilt University, is currently using Minecraft to teach his son, Theodore, how to read at home. Check it out. I want you to read on this top line right here. What's that say? Diamond. The next one? Iron ingot. Huh? Gold ingot. Stick. Bone. Dang it. Strong. Strong. Let's try it again. Fine. String. String. Good job. Enchanted books. And what's that up here? Arrow. And this one? Iron sword. Red sword. As you can see, the next generation, like Theodore and others, are using Minecraft to enhance their learning experience. The opportunities are endless, and your students will surely thank you later. From new worlds, designing plugins, and a captive audience, consider using Minecraft in your classroom.